Hello everybody on Simply for the YouTube channel. Thank you for watching my video. Today we will complete the possible sources of physical hazard in food part 2 slash 4 which is people origin like production laborers, cookers or any food handlers. The first thing we will start from the human himself was the hair like head hair, mustache hair, beard hair or even long arms hair. So to control the human hair, we must follow this instruction, wearing the proper hairnets and we must take care by covering the both of the ear with the hairnets, wearing mask for mustache, wearing beard net and wearing arm sleeve covers. The other physical hazard on food from the human himself was the finger, long fingernails even cleaned or due to the fingernails trimmings, dirty short fingernails, polished fingernails from female, it also forms a very critical physical hazard on food. Another thing from the human was the accessories and jewelries like earrings, necklaces, rings, watches, rubber band, and metal bracelets. So we must take off all our accessories and jewelries before entering any food preparation area. Another very important thing was the wounds like scars, sutures on hands or arms must be covered with metal detectable bandage. This metal detectable bandage, actually it is blue in color to be easily detected in food because we are not eating any food which is in blue in color. Another thing was the papules on face also must be covered, any wounds on face and sutures must be covered also with this blue metal detected bandage. Another physical hazard from a human, chewing gum, keys, torn clothes parts, or even the cufflinks. So while dealing with food, our hands must be at this picture to be clean hand, short clean nails, free from wounds, free from suture, and free from any accessories and jewelries. Also, we cannot wear any face piercing in any food industry area broken mobile phones is very critical to food industry so it's better not to enter food production area with phones because there is another thing about the cleaning of the screen of your phone there is many microbiological hazard also you must take care about the reading glasses and its glass parts there is another notes if there is any hair pins or hijab pins, it must be covered by hair nets. It's not allowed to take any subha beads, this Muslim tool in the production line to avoid its cut and the contamination of the food with the beads. Some factories and kitchens allow their laborers to wear their wedding rings, but make sure that it's smooth and plain. But according to food safety concepts, it's better to take it off before dealing with food. Another very important thing in the personal hygiene and the personal factor was the gloves. The gloves must be clean, intact and not damaged. We can use either, either plastic or rubber. The rubber types prefer, prefer, to, prefer to be latex free to avoid latex allergies. Also, there is an important note to not use the dedicated food gloves in other activities to avoid the food contamination. Now we'll talk about the coat, the apron, and the uniform. It will be a hazard if there is any outside pockets with zippers. So any lost buttons will be a physical hazard on food. If there is any torn clothes also will be a physical hazard on food. The coat or the uniform must be as follow. No outside pockets, only hidden inside pockets to take our stuff, to put our stuff in it. No plastic buttons, only metal to be metal detected as we will explain later on on the control of the physical hazard and no cufflinks buttons. Another good way to wear the hairnets was to, hear, to wear the hairnet before the wearing the apron to avoid the contamination of the apron with the hair and we will take off, we take off the apron first, then the hairnets. This examples was bad examples for chefs so thank you for watching my video and waiting for your feedback thank you again and don't forget to subscribe if you like the video thank you
हेलो